Hey guys, welcome back. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to modify multiple Excel files using ChatGPT. So, let's go over some of the steps. We're going to be, we have a number of Excel files that we want to be able to modify them automatically using ChatGPT and Python. So, step one, we're going to be doing, we will run the prompt on ChatGPT uh, to get the Python code. Step two, we will copy the Python code into Thani, which is a Python development tool. And step three, we will run the code. And then step four, we will check the results in the modified Excel files. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Excel files that we want to be able to modify. So I have here three different Excel files. And they're all similar in structure. Each one has two columns, it has a branch column, which has the city and then has a monthly revenue. In this case, for Charlotte, $50,000, for Nashville, $80,000, and for Aspen, it's $90,000, okay? The same thing for the other two uh, files. So in this file, I also have three different branches with three different revenues. Right, so I got New York branch, Orlando, and Miami, and then I got 50,000, 80,000, 9,000, the same thing, okay? And the same thing for the uh, third file. I've got Charleston, Raleigh, and Chapel Hill, and the same thing, monthly revenue of this much. Now, I wanna be able to automatically add a third column in all these three different files that will say an annual revenue, and it's gonna multiply this times 12 to give me the annual revenue, right? So essentially, I want to get, I want to get this basically automatically. All right. So automatically, I want to be able to modify all the different files at the same time and add this annual revenue uh, using prompts from ChatGPT. Okay. Let's take a look at how this is going to work. Okay, so step one, I want to be able to get the right prompt and put it in ChatGPT. Okay, so this is the prompt that which I want to be able to use. I have multiple text, sorry, not this one, but it's actually this one. I have multiple Excel files in a folder named Excel files. Each Excel file contains two columns, a branch column and a monthly revenue column. I want to add a new annual revenue column to each Excel file. The annual revenue column should be equal to monthly revenue times 12. Write me a Python script for that. Now, very important point here, you wanna be able to make sure this folder name matches what you have created in your um, file system or in your Windows Explorer Excel files, right? Because this code is gonna be generated within the actual Python code. And the branch, you wanna add the annual revenue, you wanna make sure the, the, uh, the column name it matches exactly the same spelling as you have created in the Excel file, right, for each different column, okay? So let's go ahead and copy this into ChatGPT. And then it's gonna do its magic. The AI engine will generate the Python code corresponding to the prompt that we submitted in the ChatGPT window. So here's the code, okay? And here's an explanation of, of the code. Now, two things. Let's go ahead and copy this code and go to Thani, which is our Python development environment. And I'll go ahead and create a new lecture here. Oh, sorry, a new file. Okay. I'll copy the code, I'll save it, okay? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and run this and see what happens. Okay, now I got a bunch of errors. Uh, you probably have probably a couple more errors than this, right? So, two things which we wanna be able to do. You wanna be able, notice here in the code, it says import pandas as pd. Pandas is a library functions or preset library definitions or package libraries for Python, which enables you to conduct 
uh, math operations and data analysis. So the first step is we have to go to tools, manage packages, and type in pandas here and do a search. This will get me the different libraries associated with pandas. Click on this and in case you don't have it installed, I have it installed here. In case you don't have it installed, just make sure you install it. Once you install it, it should be able to give you this kind of window and then you should be able to get these buttons uninstall or upgrade, right? So make sure that's installed uh, by clicking install. It's going to take a couple of minutes for you to download the packages and install it. Okay. The second thing which we want to be able to do is import, look at this error message, import optional dependency open uh, Pi Excel. Open Pi Excel is another library which is designed to open Excel files and write Excel files uh, using Python scripts. So I'll, I'm going to go ahead and copy it and then I'll go to tools and then I'll go to manage packages, enter it right here and search. And it's the first one right here. Open PYXD Excel. A Python library to read, write Excel 2010 and Excel as file. So click on that and then click install. Now it's going to install the packages related to the open uh, PY Excel. And then you get this window right here. Then click close. Now I can go back and run the same code again. Simply go here, click on um, click on run, and then you get annual revenue column has been added to all Excel files, right? Okay, now let's go ahead and check the Excel files to make sure that this was added to it. Now here's the first one. Bingo, it added it, right? So you see here, the annual revenue was now added to the first file and it's 60,000, uh, what is it? $600,000. So let's go ahead and check this just to make sure, which we want to be 5,000 times 12. That's correct. Let's do it for the others to make sure yep that's right so it automatically modified it accordingly okay let's check the second file yep again the same thing it added it right the monthly revenue and then it added the um, annual revenue automatically into a third column based on the exact name and even the uppercase which we added in the um, in the code I mean, if you look at right here, annual revenue. That's the column which we want to be, which we want to add, and which is monthly revenue times twelve. Okay. Same thing here. Let's take a look at the third Excel file, just to make sure. Yep, the same thing. Now it's added it the month the the third column as annual revenue for the same thing okay notice how easy that was so this is useful if you have let's say 20 or 30 or 40 different excel files you want to be able to add the annual revenue automatically or you want to be able to add two different columns or additional column within that excel file automatically all you need to do is get the uh, pr uh, prompt the chat gpd get the code and then copy it into your python thony and then run it it takes about five or six minutes just make sure you have the right libraries installed as we did here and for Excel operations, this specific library right here is the main one that you will need, the Open PY Excel. Right, it's it, this is the main one that enables to open uh, that enables Python to open, modify, and add columns to Excel files, delete columns, and so on. A lot of the operations are right here. All you need to do is prompt the ChatGPT for the right uh, code, and then get that code and run it here and test it. And that's how quick it is, especially for you to avoid doing the manual work of adding multiple files or adding multiple columns to a specific or 10, 20 or different Excel files. All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. If you have any comments, please leave them at the bottom. I'll be happy to answer, answer them in due time. Have a great and safe day.